Chaco Canyon, where the ancient ancestral Puebloans built a civilization in tune with the stars. Today, we will explore the great houses and kivas aligned with celestial events and discover how these people incorporated astronomical knowledge into their lives without leaving written records behind. Chaco Canyon, a renowned archaeological site nestled in the heart of the American Southwest, stands as remarkable achievements and celestial knowledge of the ancestral Puebloan people, also known as the Anasazi. This ancient civilization left behind a landscape dotted with towering great houses and enigmatic kivas, structures that not only showcase their architectural prowess, but also show a deep connection between the Chacones and the celestial bodies above. While human presence in Chaco Canyon can be traced back at least 9,500 years, it is the period between 850 and 1250 CE that provides the clearest evidence of the Chacoan's archaeoastronomical sophistication. Despite the absence of written records, the ancestral Puebloans left behind a wealth of archaeological evidence that speaks volumes about their advanced understanding of astronomy and its seamless integration into their society. From the alignment of their grand structures to the intriguing petroglyphs that adorn the canyon walls, every aspect of Chacon life seems to have been influenced by their keen observations of the heavens. The majority of the great houses in Chaco Canyon possess distinct features that align with celestial events and cardinal directions. The walls of these impressive structures often orient themselves with the sun's path, while strategically placed windows and chambers allow light to penetrate the interior spaces, marking significant astronomical occurrences throughout the year. One such example is Pueblo Bonito, a massive great house divided into two symmetrical halves by a north-south wall, with its front wall facing the rising sun in the east. Similarly, the pueblos of Tzincletzin and Pueblo Alto, perched on the canyon rims above Pueblo Bonito, share this east-west alignment in their front walls, as well as an astonishing north-south alignment with each other, despite being separated by a distance of two miles. The Chacon's fascination with the cosmos is further evidenced by the existence of ancient observatories scattered throughout the canyon. Perhaps the most famous of these is the Sun Dagger at Fajada Butte, a site discovered by artist Anna Sofair in 1977. Here, a pair of spiral-shaped petroglyphs, meticulously positioned behind three sandstone slabs, interact with the sun's rays in a mesmerizing display. During the summer solstice, a precise dagger of light bisects the larger spiral, while similar alignments occur during the equinoxes and winter solstice. Remarkably, the spiral shape itself seems to chart the 18.6-year lunar cycle, demonstrating the Chacoan's deep understanding of both solar and lunar movements. Another intriguing site that showcases the ancestral Puebloan's astronomical prowess is Chimney Rock, a Pueblo built in a challenging mountainous terrain. This location is characterized by two natural stone pillars separated by a narrow gap. During the lunar maximum, the moon appears to rise directly between these pillars, a site that must have held great significance for the Chacoans. The Great Kiva at Chimney Rock was meticulously constructed in the perfect position to observe this phenomenon, and tree ring data supports the theory that this site functioned as a lunar observatory. The importance of cardinal directions in Chacoan architecture cannot be overstated. 12 out of 14 surveyed great house complexes exhibit alignments with the cardinal points, shows the Chacoan's ability to determine these directions through astronomical observations accurately. The Great Kiva of Casa Rinconada is a prime example, featuring two doorways positioned to the north and south, and four central pillars marking each of the four cardinal directions. In addition to the cardinal alignments, several great houses in Chaco Canyon also demonstrate a strong connection to the lunar cycle. Five of these structures align with the lunar minimum standstill, while two others align with the lunar maximum standstill. Some great houses that exhibit cardinal alignments also feature diagonal lunar alignments. The ancestral Puebloan's fascination with the sun's annual journey is evident in their careful tracking of the solstices. While the intentionality of the Casa Rinconada Kiva's summer solstice alignment remains a topic of debate, Multiple sites throughout the canyon showcase clear alignments with the winter solstice. Pueblo Bonito's windows, for example, direct beams of light into the interior during the winter solstice, while Ouijiji and Kinkletso offer vantage points for observing the earliest signs of the impending event. 
The presence of Navajo solar symbols alongside ancestral Puebloan petroglyphs at Ouijiji suggests a continuity of reverence for the sun's power and a shared understanding of its significance in marking the passage of time. Despite the wealth of archaeological evidence pointing to the sophisticated astronomical practices of the ancestral Puebloans, the lack of written records leaves many questions unanswered. The motivations behind the Chacoan's intense focus on celestial observations remain a mystery, although several theories have been proposed. Some suggest that tracking the movements of the sun, moon, and stars may have been crucial for agricultural purposes, allowing the Chacoans to plan their planting and harvesting cycles in harmony with the seasons. Others propose a deeper spiritual significance, with the alignment of sacred structures and the tracking of celestial events serving as a means to connect with the divine and maintain cosmic balance. Additionally, the creation of a shared calendar based on astronomical observations may have played a vital role in unifying the dispersed Chacoan communities, facilitating the coordination of rituals, festivals, and trade. The Chacoans' understanding of astronomy was not limited to solar and lunar cycles. They also paid close attention to the movements of stars and planets, using them as celestial markers to track the passage of time and align their structures with the cosmos. Archaeologists have discovered petroglyphs throughout the canyon that depict various constellations and star patterns, suggesting that the ancestral Puebloans had a deep understanding of the night sky and its cyclical nature. The influence of Chacon astronomy extended far beyond the boundaries of the canyon itself. Outlying communities such as the Salmon Ruins and Aztec Ruins also exhibit alignments with celestial events and cardinal directions. This suggests that the astronomical knowledge developed in Chaco Canyon was shared and adopted by other ancestral Puebloan communities, creating a vast network of sites that were linked by a common understanding of the cosmos. The legacy of Chacuan astronomy lives on in the traditions and stories of modern Puebloan communities. Many of these communities still incorporate celestial observations into their rituals and festivals, honoring the deep connection between the earth and the sky that their ancestors recognized centuries ago. The cosmic connection they forged with the heavens is etched into the very stones of their great houses, kivas and petroglyphs, offering us a glimpse into a world where the boundaries between earth and sky blur. That marks the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Archaeotrek for more videos like this.